I decided to make a quick update with my broken mic right here <laughs> and my robe because I'm struggling just a little bit. I am about to look at the information that my dentist gave me because I'm not sure I can see the diamond well enough anymore. The diamond is the um, incision or wound shape and it's supposed to be tall and I can't really tell if it's tall because it's in the middle of healing so it has a scab on it and I knew this would happen and it happened with my kids I'm just unsure of um, how it looks so I'm a little discouraged I'm a little sore I didn't get to take the medicine on the at the right time that I wanted to today because I was traveling a lot and so drinking cold drinks and eating popsicles and that's helping a little bit i'm trying to do I, this morning i was so gung-ho and all day in the car i was moving it around and doing my stretches and exercises i've done my stretches four times now and i just read on the paper it's supposed to be four or five so i should get a few more in and i had cst this morning you know i love cst it was my second appointment it was great and didn't hurt as bad because or wasn't as uncomfortable because she didn't do any mouth work inside because yesterday was my release so it was all good things and no bad things but it left me exhausted and she told me that might happen the last time and I was already tired from a lot of things anyways as we all are, but I was exhausted after this one. I um, was going to pick up my son and I was a little early, so my daughter was asleep in the back seat. I pulled in, it's all right. I pulled into a shaded parking, parking lot and we napped in the car for 45 minutes. I just fell right asleep. I had my pillow from traveling and I just rolled down the windows and we fell asleep. It was great. Uh, it was quiet and the breeze it was so great uh, but <laughs> it was real how tired I was after CST and I didn't wake up with a kink in my neck so that was pretty incredible it was just a long day and I'm tired right here it's sore right here inside but it's not bleeding but it's sore I can touch my uvula with the tip of my tongue, but I'm not sure if the diamond is tall. So I'm a little bummed out. Uh, I'll just be keeping it cold. It's part of the process and part of the recovery, but it's setting in and it's kind of a bummer. So we'll see how tomorrow looks. 